Chapter 19 of Dramatic Rituals The wheel turns to those effectual methods of invocation employed in the ancient mysteries and by certain secret bodies of initiates today. The object of them is almost invariably one the invocation of a god, that god conceived in a more or less material and personal fashion. These rituals are therefore well suited for such persons as are capable of understanding the spirit of magic as opposed to the letter. One of the great advantages of them is that a large number of persons may take part, so that there is consequently more force available, but it is important that they should all be initiates of the same mysteries, bound by the same oaths, and filled with the same aspirations. They should be associated only for this one purpose. Such a company being prepared, the story of the gods should be dramatized by a well-skilled poet accustomed to this form of composition. Lengthy speeches and invocations should be avoided, but action should be very full. Such ceremonies should be carefully rehearsed, but in rehearsals care should be taken to omit the climax, which should be studied by the principal character in private. The play should be so arranged that the climax depends on him alone. By this means one prevents the ceremony from becoming mechanical or hackneyed and the element of surprise assists the lesser characters to get out of themselves at the supreme moment. Following the climax there should always be an unrehearsed ceremony, an impromptu. The most satisfactory form of this is the dance. In such ceremonies appropriate libations may be freely used. The rite of Luna, Equinox I, 6, is a good example of this use. Here the climax is the music of the goddess the assistants remaining in silent ecstasy. In the rite of Jupiter the impromptu is the dance, in that of Saturn long periods of silence. It will be noticed that in these rites poetry and music were largely employed mostly published pieces by well-known authors and composers. One it would be better too to write and compose specially for the ceremony. Three, 